All right, so you probably clicked on this video thinking, well, what's wrong with asking for subscribes and likes? After all, you've probably heard a million YouTube creators say, smash that like button and smash that red subscribe button. And truth be told, I have also been asking you to subscribe to this channel. But likes and subscribes are probably the most superficial, like level one form of engagement. They are the easiest ones to do, which is why the most people ask for them. But if you truly want to engage your audience and grow your channel, you've got to ask for deeper, more meaningful calls to action. And so what we're going to start off with, the first call to action that I want you to use to go beyond just asking for likes and subscribes. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with asking for people to subscribe to your channel or like your video. You can certainly do that. And these are just going to be more additional stuff for you to engage better with your audience. So the first one that I have for you is actually to direct them to what kind of video you want them to watch next. Why this particular call to action? Because as soon as they're done watching one video of yours, you want to invoke bingeability. You want to have them watch more than one of your videos and having another related video for people to watch after they're done watching this particular current video is a great way to get them to go deeper with you on the journey of your channel. Now, this is great for two reasons. First of all, it helps you because they develop a a greater understanding of what your channel is about by watching more than one video on your channel so that you're not a one hit wonder. It's not just people watch one video and then never come back to your channel again. If they watch more than one video, they're likely to come back again and again, which invokes thing number two, which is what YouTube wants. YouTube wants people to keep coming back to the YouTube platform. And if you as a creator, can get people to keep coming back to the YouTube platform and watch more than one video, then you're winning on the platform. The platform loves you then, right? And so having people to watch, uh, sorry, getting people to watch another video of yours, which is related and the logical next step is a great call to action at the end of each and every one of your videos. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get more people to go and watch the next video that you want them to watch. So stay tuned for those. The next call to action you want to implement is the one that increases engagement on your channel. Now, adding engagement and having a two way conversation with your followers and your subscribers is a great way to develop relationships. Relationships build trust. And when you are building trust, people are going to become fans and not just followers, right? So how do you engage your audience in a deeper way? You want to encourage them to leave comments down in that comment section underneath every single video. Now, most people get this wrong. And what they do is ask a question, which is closed ended. Closed ended questions are ones that have a yes or no answer. Um, do you want to grow your YouTube channel? Uh, duh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a, that's an example of a question I might ask, which has a very obvious yes or no answer. And it's not going to get much engagement because it's just kind of a dead end question. On the flip side, you don't actually want to ask questions that are too complex for people to answer. So what is going to be the strategy that you're going to implement to grow your channel? Oh my God, who has time for that? Like, that's not something you can easily answer in the comment section. Asking people what their strategy is or what their, you know, complicated answer is going to be is putting too much. They have to put too much effort into answering that particular question and they're not going to do it. If it's going to be too complex, they're not going to answer. So you want to actually hit that sweet spot of making the question something that's going to make them think, but also be really easy to answer. And the kind of question you actually want to ask people is an open ended, easy question, something relevant to the video, but something for which everyone's answer could be different. For example, let's say I'm sharing five calls to action in today's video, which I am. So I could ask you, which one of these are you going to implement in your next video? Now, your answer could be different according to whichever one makes the most sense to you, but it's a really easy answer to give. And when you give your answer, it is not closed ended. It is open ended, meaning that I could ask you a follow up question. I could make another comment. We could continue the conversation. And when I do that, my comments actually help with engagement on the channel. So your comments plus my comments equals 
a conversation. And now we are going a little bit deeper into our relationship and engaging with the people that watch our content, which is a great metric to grow your YouTube channel. The next kind of call to action is to download this cool thing that I have for you. Now, this is a great call to action if you want to grow your email list as well as your YouTube channel. So you could do you know, watch this video next and download this cool thing I have for you. Now, just make sure that the cool thing that you want people to download is actually something of value. So we call them lead magnets. The lead magnet ideally should be something that takes people from watching the video for information to downloading the lead magnet for implementation. So something actionable that they can do after watching that particular video. If you want more information on how to develop your lead magnet, watch this video that I'll link to in the info card and also down in the description section below about downloading my YouTube playbook. The YouTube playbook has lead magnets built in that makes sense for your followers and your subscribers to download after watching a particular video or even a series of videos. So be sure to grab my YouTube playbook from the description below. Sometimes you make videos that you want people to share out because the message is larger and should be reach more people. Like maybe it's an inspirational video or it's something that you believe is going to be of value to their communities. So let's say it's a video that inspires um, them to lose weight or set better goals for the new year or get their personal finances in order or whatever the larger goal is. For those kind of videos, you want to have a call to action for people to share out this video on their communities. So maybe you want to develop your presence on Twitter or Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook or any of the other social media communities. And you want to ask people to share out your video in their communities. Now the goal is twofold. It is to grow your presence on that other platform, but it is also to help people grow their community. So if you feel that your video will help them grow their communities on that other social media platform, then ask for the share instead of the like. Okay. Ask people to share this video out because this message is so important and it needs to reach more people. So if you have a video like that, then asking people to share it out is going to grow your community as well as their community. So that's another call to action you can experiment with. Here's an easy one, click X to do Y. Now use this call to action when you have something specific that you want people to click, let's say in the description, and they're gonna get something specific for that. So if you have, let's say a 10% discount to a product, you can say, click the link in the description to get 10% off this product. This is great for if you're making uh, affiliate videos or you are an affiliate for a product and you wanna promote that product, or if you're making brand sponsored videos, or if you just have a good deal that you found on the internet and you wanna share with your followers. Who doesn't love a good deal? And if you share that, then that is a great call to action to pass on that great deal to your subscribers as well. Okay, so I said in the beginning that I have some helpful tips around, you know, how to do calls to action better. So here are those tips. Number one, you don't always have to wait till the end to do your call to action. So if you, rewind back and watch this video. I actually already did my call to action for this video, which was to ask you to, which was the most, uh, which was the call to action that you're gonna use next in your video. So you don't always have to wait till the end to do your call to action, have it wherever it makes the most amount of sense because not everyone's gonna be tuned in till the last few seconds of your video. My next tip is to sometimes tease the call to action thing in the beginning of your video, because if you want people to watch the entire video and then get to the call to action, then tease it in the beginning. So let's say you have a series of steps and the call to action only makes sense if people have actually gone through those series of steps, right? So then you wanna tell them that after we go through these series of steps, you're gonna get something at the end, which will make sense after you have watched that beginning. So you want to tell them at the beginning that this is coming up. So that's another way to let people know that you have a call to action coming at the end that's going to be valuable for them. And the third tip that I have for you related to calls to action is that you should always supplement your CTAs with visuals, text, and graphics, because that way they're not just listening to you. And sometimes people are watching YouTube videos with the audio off or not really paying attention. And so if you supplement your call to action with visuals, with text, with gestures, so that actually amplifies the fact that people are going to take action on your call to action. Now I want you to go and watch this video next 
next and I will look for you down in the comments below. See you in the next video.